should we have a look at this morning's Saturday papers? And of course, the death of Sir David Amos is on all the front pages today. He died serving the people. That is the Daily Mirror's headline. And the paper draws comparisons to the murder of Labour MP Joe Cox in 2016. Yeah, here's this morning's Daily Mail as well, featuring a picture of him uh, smiling, uh, always smiling. So many of his colleagues were saying yesterday that uh, he was just the smiliest man in Parliament. Uh, that picture showing him uh, giving away his daughter at her wedding just a few weeks ago. Meanwhile, a fine public servant. That's the headline for the Daily Telegraph. The paper says a 25-year-old British man of Somali origin has been arrested on suspicion of murder. And the Times has a picture of Sir David with two pugs. Uh, and as we've been hearing over the last, uh, well, nearly 24 hours, uh, David Amos was uh, well known as an animal lover, keen supporter of animal welfare charities. And we'll hear during this morning's programme from some of the people who worked with him on projects like that and uh, can tell us about how he devoted his life to all kinds of different causes. And you know what you often hear about, for, you know, front bench MPs, don't you? People on the cabinet and the shadow cabinet who, who dominate the headlines with their political work. But constituency MPs mm. who stay out of the limelight and campaign hard for issues in their patch yeah. are so important. Yeah. And it seems very much from people who live in his constituency and his friends and his colleagues that that's the kind of person he was dedicated to yeah. grassroots politics, which we don't hear enough about because plenty of MPs work hard in those areas, don't they? And lots of his colleagues saying that, you know, unlike most politicians, he, he wasn't interested in front bench ministerial career. He didn't want sort of power technically. His power came from being in his constituency and bringing up his constituency in Parliament in the chamber any moment that he possibly could. And holding his own party to account, yeah. which is also yeah. really important, isn't it?